In this video, you're going to learn how to download, install, and configure Heartbeat to collect uptime information from a microservice and then use Kibana to visualize this information. For this example, I'm going to use a up and running Elastic Stack that is currently being executed locally in this machine. In Kibana, you can find the application called Uptime that is available under the Observability session. The Uptime application can be used to visualize information regarding heartbeat. Keep in mind, though, that if this is the first time you are seeing the Uptime information and no heartbeat is deployed, there will be nothing to be shown. Let's take a look then in the microservice that we have that will be used for demonstration. The microservice that is currently running in this machine is called Hello App, and it is deployed as a Docker container. This is a very simple microservice that was written in Go that simply respond Hello World every time an HTTP request is sent to this endpoint slash hello over the port 808080. In this example, we are going to deploy Heartbeat to collect uptime information from this endpoint and transmit that information to Elasticsearch so we can further analyze it with the uptime application on Kibana. Our first step then is to download Heartbeat. There are different ways for you to download Heartbeat. But the first step should be going to the Elastic website and go to the download page for Heartbeat. You can find the URL of the download in the description of this video. In the download page, you're going to see that there are different approaches that you can use. First, you can download directly from the website using one of the links provided. There will be distributions of Heartbeat for the major operating systems available. Also, you're going to be able to download Heartbeat using packet managers. If you are a Linux user, you can either use yum or apt-get, or if you are using Mac, you can use Homebrew. Alternatively, you can also install Heartbeat using Docker. We are going to explore this option later. Within the same page, you are also going to find a link where you can have access to the past releases of Heartbeat. This is important because, by default, you are going to download the very last release of Heartbeat. But for some reason, if you need earlier versions, you can use that link below to download a specific version of Heartbeat. So let's then download Heartbeat into this machine. I'm going to download Heartbeat directly from the Elastic website and store the distribution locally into a file called Heartbeat 7.13.2 Darwin, which is the platform that I'm using, and the x86-64, which is the runtime platform for this operating system. Since this is a tar.gz file, we have to extract its contents locally. And then we will have a full distribution of Heartbeat available for us to use. Now let's take a look at how to configure Heartbeat to collect uptime information from the microservice. This is a very small example that was created to configure Heartbeat to point to that microservice and extract uptime information from it. As you can see here, this configuration file was written using the YAML format. So this is going to be your first step. Just go ahead and create a YAML file. And in this YAML file, you are going to write a piece of code similar to this one. Everything in Heartbeat is called monitors. In one specific configuration file, you can have one or multiple monitors. 
that you are going to configure to point to different systems and services. In this example, I have just one monitor. This monitor is of type HTTP and it's collecting information from my microservice every five seconds. As you can see here in the URL section, I am giving the URL that Heartbeat is going to use to probe the target system regarding availability. Also, I am instructing Heartbeat to send whatever information has been collected to this endpoint over here that's going to point to Elasticsearch. Now let's use this configuration file to start up Heartbeat so it can start collecting uptime information from the microservice. Inside the distribution of your Heartbeat folder, there will be a native executable that you can use to start up Heartbeat. Just go ahead and use that native executable called Heartbeat and provide the configuration file as a parameter. You can provide a configuration file using the flag minus C. And optionally, you can use the flag minus E to print all the execution and bootstrapping from Heartbeat into the console. Heartbeat is currently being executed. So let's go back to Kibana to check whether we have information regarding uptime from the microservice. As you can see here, Kibana is already showing information regarding availability. The uptime application is capable of displaying most of the information that we've configured in Heartbeat, such as the URL that's being used for probing, the name we gave to the monitor, as well as the actual information if the microservice is up or down. Since Heartbeat sends data continuously to be stored in Elasticsearch, that data is stored as a time series data set. So you can use that information to evaluate and analyze information regarding availability from your microservice over time. In other words, you are going to be able to see over time the ups and downs of your target system or endpoint. Now that we know that Kibana is correctly showing information regarding uptime from the microservice, let's verify if this information is reliable. In order to demonstrate this, we are going to force a shutdown of the microservice and then come back here on Kibana to see if Kibana is going to show the availability of the microservice, if it's up or down. Let's start by getting rid of the microservice. Right now, the microservice is currently being executed over the port 808080. So let's force a removal of this container and then by doing so, we are no longer going to be able to issue a request for this endpoint. So as you can see here, it failed to connect. Now let's check on Kibana to see if the availability is going to be updated. And voila, as you can see here, now the microservice is deemed as not being executed and Kibana is correctly showing you this.